Hey guys and girls, it's me Subedeo Rocket and welcome back to another learning shenanigans video for the month of March. Hopefully, because I have a bit of a full schedule at the moment when it comes to video making, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna be uh, uploading the Chuck E. Cheese Saga video today, the same day I'm recording this video. And then tomorrow I'm gonna be recording the footage for my very late Uncharted review. And of course, since it's already March, I'm gonna be reviewing the Batman and also another uh, mysterious Batman project, which I'm not gonna mention just in case I'm able to upload this on time. And then I have to, you know, do all the videos related to the Sonic Marathon tree. It's a very big schedule and I don't really want to have all of those videos up uh, and running uh, in March and not kind of leak out to, I guess, April because uh, there's something big happening in April. I can't see what it is yet. I mentioned it before. So I hopefully everything will be done and over with by the time March ends. So anyways, let's get started. Ready? And yes, I know, I'm not showing my face right now. I mean, I figured that even though it's not, uh, you know, a, a Saturday right now, Saturday, 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 sorry, but <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know, I feel like it's just best to just record it like this to make things simpler for myself so I don't really need to have the hassle to, you know, record and then have to move the camera and such. It's a bit uncomfortable moving this camera around my little small room here. But anyways, let's continue where we left off with real estate. Let's see, we're gonna have an example here with the housing starts. For example, if housing starts indicate fewer single families and more multi-family starts, Single family is like, it's like, like one child, right? Uh, we're only a few seconds into reading this and I want to go to Google. <laughs> uh-huh, freestanding residential building. It's sometimes referred to a single family home. And post my, what? I don't get it. So this is, it's basically this, it's, this is the home. Uh, oh God, it's a blurry. Come on, load faster, load. Load! Okay, so this is a single family home. Then what does a multi family home have? Ah, it's like this. Okay, alright. Gotcha, gotcha. No, this is not a gotcha game. <laughs> Sometimes the internet and some games kind of ruin some terms for me, you know? <laughs> yeah, man, I, I swear I heard of that term before, maybe. I don't know. Like maybe like a travel and tourism back in high school. Um, yeah, <laughs> maybe I kind of forgot about it because I'm salty that we didn't go traveling. You see, back in high school, when you take the travel and tourism um, subject uh, for your final year, you get to plan an actual uh, trip to a different country. But uh, since my final year was the year 2020, that never happened, unfortunately. It, all right, let's, uh, let's continue here. It could indicate an independent supply shortage for single family homes which could drive up home prices. Oh, okay. I guess like, this means like, you know, if people uh, buy the, you know, uh, more of the multifamily uh, homes than the single family, then yeah, that will increase the prices, I guess. Wait, really? Or is it the other way around? Hang on, I'm trying to figure this out. Uh, if the housing indicates fewer single family and more family starts. Ah, okay, so if there's less of something, it could lead to and <laughs> lead to a shortage. We could drive up the home prices. All right, okay. I think I understand it. Interesting. Oh, and they actually show a chart here. Sh chart shows 20 years of sh housing starts from January 1, 2000 to February 1st, 2020. All right, 20 years. We got 2002. That's when first Spider-Man film came out. The Tobey Maguire one, 2006, and then there's a big decline. I mean, I guess like around this time we had some um, not so great um, <laughs> superhero movies. Maybe that's the reason. No, it's not the whole, you know, math that we have here. No, it's superhero movies to blame for this. It's, it's not a coincidence that this all happened in 2006. Anyways, um, all jokes aside, it's, that's a surprising little um, 
um, decrease and then uh, it's a slow rise up to 2020 with a small increase there maybe it has to do with a certain something that happened in 2020 a little pandemic so <laughs> yeah how to invest in real estate ah all right time for the origin story of mr dinkovich oh wow we can we can click through these three but we're not going to do that today we're just going to finish this off um so home ownership rental properties and house flipping okay they're not gonna tell us here so i'm guessing i'll click on these in the future <laughs> if you buy a physical property example rental properties housing flipping you can make money two different ways revenue from rent or leases all right and appreciation of the real estate value oh wait that's what i hang on that was what was said in the video <laughs> i've joked around about that i appreciate the the <laughs> The, the the property or whatever that joke i did last time is that an actual meaning to it maybe we'll just look at it briefly hang on what is appreciation in general terms it is an increase in the value of an assess over time the increase can incur for a number of reasons including increased demand or weakening supply or as a result changes in inflation interest rates this is the opposite of depreciation which is a decrease in value over time. All right. Okay, so it's not actually like, I appreciate your property, like what I said. That was a joke, guys. Of course, that's uh, not how it's supposed to be. <laughs> so well, at least I know what that is now. <laughs> we'll look through this some other time. So yeah, we're setting up the, <laughs> we're setting up the learning shenanigans cinematic video universe, I guess. First, we already have teases to us reading that, and now we have teases of reading us reading these little articles in the future. <laughs> if you buy physical property, oh wait, wait, already said that. Um, unlike other invest, <laughs> unlike other investments, real estate is dramatically affected by its location. Oh yeah, remember location, location, location. Factors such as employment rates, the local economy, crime rates transportation facilities, school quality, school quality, huh? Okay. <laughs> Municipal. All right. Google time, guys. <laughs> Relating to a town or district by its governing body. Okay. All right. Property taxes can drive real estate prices up or down. Pros. Offers steady income. Offers capital appreciation. The first, the diverse of <laughs> Time to drink water. <clears throat> Shut up, chair. Diversifies. <sighs> Diversifies portfolio. All right, makes sense. Can be bought with leverage. Guess you don't have leverage. I'm sure only like 3% of you are going to get where that's from. Um, it's just from a certain story mode, that's all I'm going to say. Of a very popular game. Yeah, that game's too much. Anyways, <laughs> uh, cons is usually illiquid, influenced by highly local factors, requires big initial capital outlay, may require active management and expertise. You can invest in real estate indirectly as well. One of the most popular ways to do so is through real investment trust. I trust you with this real estate. A company that holds a portfolio of income producing real estate. There are several broad types, sorry, broad types of rights, <laughs> including equity, mortgage, and hybrid rights, rights are further classified based on how their shares are bought and sold. Public traded rights, public non-traded rights, private rights. <laughs> oh man, I don't know. I guess it's a, yeah, maybe you need a better acronym for that. It doesn't, it doesn't roll off the tongue that well, guys. <laughs> I keep shouting it. You know the times, remember when back in when people were, Trying to think of a name for you know Sonic 06, how to you know have a give it a nickname to separate it from the original game. They just have it 
have people going, you know, just have it in all caps and just people going, SONIC THE HEDGEHOG! <laughs> Good thing we settled with SONIC 06. <laughs> the most popular way to invest in, right, is to buy shares that are publicly traded on an exchange. Since the shares trade like any other security traded on an exchange, think stocks, think stocks, think stocks. Ah, happy stocks. <laughs> it makes rights very liquid and transparent. Like many stocks, you earn income from rights through dividends, payments, and appreciation of the shares. In addition to individual rights, you can also invest in real mutual funds and real estate excess traded funds known as <laughs> <laughs> why? Why am I doing this? To learn, that's why. Don't be silly. <laughs> what we like. <laughs> okay, I mean, maybe it's what you like. I don't know. I mean, yeah. we all have different opinions. We got liquidity, diversification, steady div dividends. I almost thought this was, it sounds, it said stakey for some reason. I have no idea why. Maybe I'm hungry. Risk adjusted returns, what we don't like, that's no good. Low growth, low capital appreciation, okay, that makes sense. No, not tax advantage, <laughs> wow, okay. Subjected to market risks, high fees, who knows, my goodness. <laughs> A lot of people say, oh god, no, not taxes, but maybe I can use it to my advantage. Nope, it's no good when it comes to property. <laughs> Another option for investing in real estate is via mortgage-backed securities, also known as It's like a it's like a drum that you know that the drum I forgot what it's called. These receive a lot of bad press due to the role they played in the mortgage meltdown. Oh god, that sounds intimidating. That triggered a global fi oh god financial crisis in 2007 2008. Oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> so, uh, my goodness. I'm guessing the rider strike isn't the only thing we have to worry about during that time. Did the rider strike happen during that time? I believe so, right? When did when the Quantum of Solids came out? Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, again, maybe half of you don't even know what that is about as well. <laughs> Do some more research on global events, guys. <laughs> However, MBS, sorry. Mbus are still in existence and traded. The most accessible way for the average investor to buy into these products is via, oh yeah, this one. Like all investments, these products carry a degree of risk. However, they may also offer portfolio diversification. Investors must investigate the holdings to ensure the funds specialized in investment grade mortgage backed securities, not the sub, not the sub what? Not the subprime variety that figured in that crisis. What does subprime mean? God, I know what prime means. We got Optimus Prime. We got S uh, Sonic Prime in uh, just a couple of months. Um, yeah, subprime in finance. Subprime lending is the provision of loans to people in the United States who may have difficulty maintaining a repayment schedule. No. Okay. Historically, subprime borrowers were defined as having <laughs> scores below 600. Although this threshold has varied over time. Now I have to do a double research. What? Pico. Or Pico. <laughs> Originally F Fair Isaac Company, huh, is a data analytic company based on based in San Jose. It's a it's a silent J, and there's for some reason a H that is hidden. <laughs> California, focus on credit scoring services. Okay, it was founded by Bill Fair and uh, I Earl Isaac. I can definitely tell that <laughs> in 1956. It's FICO score or FICO score, a measure of consumer credit risk has become a fixture of consumer lending 
in the US. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, all right, okay. Data analysis. <sighs> We're always gonna have some little bad English mumblings from time to time on this little series. There's no escaping it. Where was I? <laughs> okay, all right, all right, okay. Mabus examples too popular that give ordinary investors access to Mabus include a Vanguard 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 mortgage backed securities <laughs> This tracks the Bloomberg US float adjusted index made up of federal agency backed that have minimum pools of one billion dollars and minimum minimum maturity of one year. The iShare share <laughs> uh, this <laughs> focuses on fixed rate mortgage securities and tracks the blue the Bloomberg US Midbus index its holding includes bonds issued or guaranteed by government sponsored enterprises such as Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac so they are AAA rated all right hmm. I might need to research more on this to really understand this um, in the future warning 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 warning, 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 warning. warning. mortgage lending discrimination is illegal okay if you think you have been disintegrated against based on race, region, sex, material status, use of public assistance, national origin, disability, or age, there are steps you can take. One step is to file a report to the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau or the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. All right. My goodness. <laughs> and uh, that's it. I know this is an ad. And they ain't gonna fool me twice. Oh shoot! No, okay. oh, I guess these are the these are the sources for this little article. Pretty cool. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the entirety of real estate. It got a bit complex here, but I'm sure we're gonna learn. We're gonna understand it more better when we look through the other articles within this article. Again, this is the start of the. Um, what did I call it again? the property cinematic video universe. <laughs> it's not that cinematic, it's just me pointing a camera at the TV. Anyways, that's pretty much it for this video. I don't want to um, uh, waste any more time, I guess, because I have other stuff to do today. Whoa, busy days. <laughs> so um, yeah, I hope you guys learned something, at least something. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Until then, Rock it on.